Christmas by Sir John Betjeman. The bells of waiting Advent ring, the tortoise stove is lit again. A lamp oil light across the night has caught the streaks of winter rain. In many a stained glass window sheen, from crimson lake to hooker's green. The holly in the windy leg, and round the manor house the yew, will soon be stripped to deck the ledge, the altar, font, and arch and pew, so that the villagers can say, the church looks nice on Christmas Day. Provincial public houses blaze, corporation tram cars clang, on light and tenements I gaze, where paper decorations hang, and bunting in the red town hall, says Merry Christmas to you all. And London shops on Christmas Eve are strung with silver bells and flowers, as hurrying clerks the city leave to pigeon haunted classic towers, and marbled clouds go scuttling by the many steepled London sky. And girls in slacks remember Dad, and oatfish louts remember Mum, and sleepless children's hearts are glad, and Christmas morning bells say come even to shining ones who dwell safe in the dorchester hotel and is it true and is it true this most tremendous tale of all seen in a stained glass window's hue a baby in an ox's stall the maker of the stars and sea become a child on earth for me and is it true for if it is no loving fingers typing strings around those tissued Fripperies, the sweet and silly Christmas things, bath salts and inexpensive scent, and hideous ties so kindly meant. No love that in a family dwells, no caroling in frosty air, nor all the steeple shaking bells can with this single truth compare that God was man in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns, turn us from the darkness of sin to the light of holiness, that as we journey through these days of Advent, we might grow daily into your likeness, and so may be ready to meet you in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.